what she's got, Captain. If I push it any harder, the whole thing will blow. Unquestionably, an immensely powerful field of energy is being generated around here somewhere. If I push these impulse engines too hard in the condition they're in, they'll blow apart. Hello, everyone. This is the day after uh, run that I just showed of the Tesla coil. That was the first run. Uh, as you can see, it's a little bit rainy out right now, and I'm glad I covered that thing up because I was a little bit lazy last night. I didn't want to disconnect everything. Um, the coil didn't quite uh, live up to the predicted 40 inch discharges, as far as I could tell. It's kind of hard to tell, but it looked like it's probably more about 30 inches. And I'm wondering whether or not it might have something to do with my ground rod. It's an 8-footer. But the soil here is extremely sandy. I probably should have put some salt in there when I uh, sunk the ground grounding rod. But I didn't. I soaked it pretty well with water. Now it's going to be really soaked. So maybe if it clears up tonight I'll run it again. But uh, the other thing is, is I, I, I don't quite have it tuned all the way for optimum performance. Uh, I just got it running last night, and I did play around with it a little bit, so I might be able to get that, those 40 inches out of it. But uh, other than that, I, I don't have a PFC capacitor that might make a difference. And maybe some of you people out there that are watching this might have some other suggestions. Uh, you know, if you come up with something, just leave me a comment or send me a, a PM. And um, play around with it. But uh, really, I'm not going to sink a whole lot of more money in this project. I did want to see, see a coil, Tesla coil in action. So I had to build one. But... I, really want to do other things uh, high voltage experiments and I'll probably use the secondary for some of those experiments um, so yeah well, it's been a fun project it turned out pretty well I, I like how it turned out um, I'm gonna be moving on on to other things and you see back there we uh, we're filling up with some water back there. I think that that'll come out on the video. Kind of a reflection back there. All water fills up this time of year. But that's a good sign because that means that spring has arrived. It's about 50 degrees right now. So, yeah, spring is here. There's our still yet uncovered trampoline and our pool is totally trashed. I've had that thing about 20 years and that's the second liner I've put in it. But at the end of the season last year we had a downpour and I don't know if that'll come out very well but right there's a big rut. We rode it away and the, the uh, liner just blew out and all the water, all that water, about 20,000 gallons I think, just blew out and we had a garden over there and trashed that. Yeah, so I don't know if I'll be able to sell that thing. It's 27 foot round. It's still, still uh, could be used. I could get her going again but well I think it's useful life has been served here so it's going to get tore down this year here pretty quick and maybe I'll be able to sell it on maybe Craigslist or something like that otherwise I'll just scrap the metal pump and everything still works so yeah all right, well, spring is here.
Gotta love it. All right. Thanks for watching.